So similar to float tags, you can also do positioning, which displays it uh, text within text, in black or in line. It's kind of similar, kind of different. There is a use for each. I'm going to show you how to apply it now. So similar again to our float tags, we've got one column here of text, and I've taken out most of the properties that we had in there before. Now what we want to do is, in this case, let's say, oops. All right, let's say we have a block of text that we want with a red background, and there's different ways that we can control that. So let's say within this div class column, which we've already got some styles applied to, we want to call out just this one little block of text right here. The best way to do that is when you have a div already started is just to add a span tag. And what a span tag is, it's actually an HTML tag that you can use to say, oh, within this one style, let's make a slightly different version of that style. So what we do is we just do it just like everything else. We say span, open it up and close it like you would any other HTML tag. Tell it where you want it to start and stop. And okay, so that within there has that. Now it's not applying any actual style to that now, just calling that out saying this is gonna be a little bit different. Let's style it different. And I'm just gonna copy column. And what you do, the way that you target that, let's pull this up a little bit here, is we say within column, we can also say anything within that column that is a span tag. So maybe I want to use a span somewhere else. It's saying only within that column div tag to apply something to the span text. So let's say I want to make that background color, I'll just make it red and keep it simple here. And we can get rid of these other styles. They're not really being used. So let's take a look at what that looks like right now. So if we come back to my document, you can see that I'm now able to highlight this one little block of text as being red. Now I know that doesn't really make sense as how that applies to what the float tags were that we had before. So that is the next part that I'm gonna show you. So to do that, what we do is we say display. And we got basically two different choices that we would use. We would say as a block. And if I save that, let's take a look what that looks like. All right, so making it as a block. So if you remember from the float tags, it reacts like as if we were not applying that float tag to it and it brings it down to the next line as if it's its own block of text. Or we could say in line, which is like the float tag, which keeps it right there within the paragraph itself. So again, kind of like the float tag, but with text within text is how you can target it specifically and tell it how to display.